It is Monday and I just want to update you so welcome to the reading vlog but I just finished Orange in volume one this was my reread of it because I want to watch the anime but I love this so much it's still one of my favorites and I would highly recommend it some major trigger warnings for suicide though but it's absolutely amazing I'll probably finish the book I was reading for book two the one that I didn't finish so the outsiders um, and then I'll probably jump into volume two of this or I'll wait a little bit. Um, I'm not sure, but this was a five star read for me and I would highly recommend it. Book Depository, I already opened this. This is from Andrews McMill Publishing and then this is the bookie box for July. So I already opened the Book Depository one and I already know what it is, but it is... Miss Bourne by Brandon Sanderson. I have wanted to get more into fantasy recently and Jay from Catherine Warren's convinced me to pick this one up. I'll have his channel link down below. Um, he's a great dude, so yeah. But I'm excited to give this one a read whenever I do. It has a super interesting like concept and I'm just so excited about it. Like you, they digest metals and it just sounds amazing. And so I wanted the beautiful UK white copy. So it is what I believe it was. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. They're, these are words. This is call. This is our call to arms. Read poetry is a space for everyone, where we celebrate identity, diversity, and empowerment in modern poetry. Here at We Read, we seek to redefine what poetry means to the modern poet and reader, providing a familiar but current look into the human experience. We hope you find a soft place to land. That is adorable. Um, I already know what the book is. Actually, no, I don't. Oh my god, I already have this book. Oh, well, it's not what I thought it was. Oh well. Um, so this is my second. I'll probably give this to someone then. Um, so we have Rethink, Redefine. This is a little postcard they put in there. Then we have an introduction. Thank you so much them for sending this my way. I totally appreciate it. Um, it's Worlds of You by Bo Taplin, I believe it is. This is so good. I have it already. It's so good. <laughs> so I would recommend this one. Uh, I'll probably give that copy to somebody who will use it or I'll sell it or something. I don't know. And then we have a tote bag that says Rethink, Redefine, re Poetry, Reclaim, Rebel. That is so cute. I love this. Thank you so much. The box is beautiful. Like, I'm keeping the box. Like, hello? Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay. July theme, brutal secrets and conspiracies. That's really pretty. And then we have a little cup. And this says, your body is not your own. Your mind is not your own. Your life is not your own. Lifelike. Oh, so that's probably the book in here. Um, but yes, it's a little cup. Very cute. Then we have a few... This is a scrub? Whip sugar scrub. This is for the Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Inspired by that. It's very pretty. Smell this one. It smells really good. Kind of smells like, like what my grandparents house smells like. Not in a bad way, <laughs> but just like in general. Uh, Mockingbird 4 ounce soy candle. This is pretty. When it's orange. It smells good too. Ooh, it's like smoldering woods. I love like woodsy, musky scents. Then there's a bunch of this. It's my woods. Like my cat is going to devour this probably, so I'm gonna have to keep it away from him. Then there's a mini Katniss candle. It smells really good. What is this? Blue spruce driftwood fireside. That's really good. And it has little speckies in it. I'd love for it to focus. Then we have tote bag. And this says, dream up something wild and improbable, something beautiful and full of monsters. I don't know where that's from, but that's cool. Then there's a bookmark that says the bookie bookmarks and it's a quote. 
It's not about being fearless, it's about acting on spite of fear. Which this is gorgeous, I'm gonna use this for sure. Then we have the book at the bottom. This is called Nine by Zach Hines. I haven't heard of this. It comes in a pouch and a signed book plate. Nine lives, one chance to discover the truth. I haven't heard of this. In 1808, in a parallel world tower owned a massive storm raged, altering the planet's atmosphere. When the rain finally ended, humanity emerged forever changed. Humans discovered they had not one life, but nine. In order to avoid overpopulation, famine, and the, extensive, the ext extinction of resources, governments devise a system of elimination in which humans are rewarded for shedding their extra lives bit by bit until they are left with only one. So that sounds really cool. It comes with a book plate. And then the next month's theme is War Among Oceans. Looks beautiful. So I'm super excited for that box. Um, yes, thank you so much to them. Thank you so much to the Bookie Box for sending this over to me. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys have it, I'll have a reading update for you in a bit. But yes, so much, so many fun unboxings. Yay! It is to when? Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Yes. Um, yesterday I finished Orange Volume 2. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. The first one is better in my opinion. But yes, I gave this one a good rating. Today I've been out. I just filmed a bunch of videos, so that's why there's books everywhere. Update for other reading things. I finally finished The Outsiders, and I really enjoyed this one. Four stars. I want to watch the film too. That is such a fun read. Um, a middle grade that's really worth the read if you haven't read it already. Also read the little last thing in the Orange series. So this is Orange Teacher. Um, I enjoyed this one. Another four star kind of read for me. That was a reread as well. They're all rereads. What am I saying? Then I read, I started reading um, on audiobook. I'm starting to listen and read along with The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson. So far, it's like magical realism-esque and I'm really enjoying it. The main character, I believe, is also bisexual or maybe pan. I'm not exactly sure. She hasn't identified herself yet, but she's so far attracted to girls from what I've seen and dudes. So, yes. So that's my update for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I wanted to update you that I finished, um, I started and finished Pillow Thoughts Volume 2. This was, um, just came out the other day. I enjoyed it. It was good. It wasn't as good as the first one in my opinion, so I gave it a 3.5. That's all I had to say. Pop my mouth guard back in. See ya. Hi, it has been a bit. It has been a few days, so I want to update you guys for the vlog. Um, it is currently Monday when I'm filming this, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog and get it up for you guys. Um, I was editing in a bit this morning. You don't care. Moving on. <laughs> Basically, for a reading update, I finished two books, so I also finished... There's that one book that was called Adulthood is a Myth, so I read the other two books in that series. They're like little graphic novels. They're very funny, but like the first one is still my favorite. I gave the first one five stars, and then these two I gave around like three, 3.5 stars. They were enjoyable, but they weren't like amazing. I'm still reading The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza. I'm taking my time with that one. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm listening to the audiobook of that one on Scribd. And I am also reading Heretics Anonymous right now. I'm about over halfway through so you guys will see my thoughts on that in the next weekly reading vlog. So yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching this week's reading vlog. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hopefully next week will be more entertaining for you guys. I'm not uh, hopefully I can edit it to make it more interesting, but raw footage is pretty rough for this vlog, so apologies. Do let me know down below, um, what you guys are currently reading. If you made it to this point in the vlog, comment a pineapple or comment pineapple. If you don't have the pineapple emoji, then you can comment pineapple. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys super soon. Bye. Never cares. I see the love up in the sky. It's like a cold rain cloud racing through the night.